you got you gotta brush that hair up a little more. Like All that. Phoenix. <laughs> He's really gonna do Armor it. Armor King. He's really about to do it. Can he see? <laughs> That's a good question. I think at this point he's gonna play around proximity. Get ready for the next battle. <laughs> he's looking straight at me too. <laughs> that is that is creepy and cool as it is. Let's hear it for Cardo. I'm not gonna say your second the second part of your idea, but let's hear it for Cardo and of course JDCR. There it is. Armor King versus Paul here, folks. Let's make some noise. Cebu's own. Already making his real stage here, Mark. This is fun because we don't really see Paul too much. I mean, in, you mentioned in the Philippines, Paul is still one of those characters that's yeah. used. But, you know, on the world stage, we don't see Paul enough anymore. Anyways, we're going to go into this. I mean, Armor King, another one of those rare characters. JDC are also one of the best at the Armored, uh, at the armored Jaguar. Let's Round see what happens. One. And we're moving Fight. to Duomo de Syria here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's it's pretty normal up here, up, up that part of the stage. But when you go down, that's when it becomes really tricky. There's a dark offer to a Shadow Larian. Goes for the screw attack to get to the wall, almost there. Oh, he does. Gets the delay, of course. Gets a little bit of extra distance. Goes for the full my grab. No, no punish on the death fist. And, and knowing Cardo here, ladies and gentlemen, he is going to push for that Phoenix Smasher. Oh, but there it is. A dark offer to a brilliant brawler kick in midair. And JDCR takes round number one. Very nice and very clean. JDCR with that pressure already. Trying to, you know, find his way in. Good block there. There is the low blow. Cardo tries to repel JDCR using the back one. And again, no punish on the Phoenix Smasher there, Markman. Gets his first combo of the game. Is he going to take this all the way to the wall? Almost there, just inches away. Now he has him at the wall, let's see what he does. And no punish on the Iron Mountain as well. There you go. Cardo tried to pin JDCR to the wall, but again, good sense of awareness, and again, leaves it untouched. Yeah, that was weird. You know, uncharacteristic, he's blocked so many deficits now, but he hasn't punished any of them. Goes for simple gut checks there, JDCR. Cardo, however, oh, again, and no punish on the Demolition Man. 20 seconds left on the clock, and there it is. He just wanted to make that whiff instead of actually blocking it. JDCR takes round number two. I think he's caught on to that, to that to those whiffs here, Mark. Yeah, he threaded the needle, got the big launch here. Let's see what he does. Go oh. for the throw, the even throw, the follow-up here. My DDT from JDCR. <laughs> Another throw you don't see that often as well from Armor King. 47 seconds left on the clock, and there it is. Tried to go for a mix-up is Cardo. No mix up, mix up, maybe. Let's see what he does. Again, just poking away with the lows. That should get punished. There's a the shoulder bar. Oh, there it is. The brilliant brawler kick. 34 seconds left on the clock. Trying to keep it slow and steady. JD Shard is going to make big mistakes here. Oh, there it is. The thruster quick, elbows. I was about to say. Quick check there with the down forward one. Able to get, you know, that was very, very clean. Mm -hmm. I feel like Cardo had these opportunities there. He may have gotten away with a little bit more mm -hmm. than that he should have, but JDCR obviously still analyzing the situation. That was just the first game. And it's also worth saying that no matter who you are, being a, a Paul Phoenix user, it always instills a little bit of threat, you know, mentally, because you know that one mistake can cost you an entire round. One, one big chunk of a death, uh, death fist or a Phoenix Smasher, as, as we call it, it's, it's gonna hurt. Yeah. You know? it is the great equalizer, so to speak. And we see what happens here. Carter right now, getting those down for wow. he's doing work. He's actually stopping JDCR from getting anything started, especially with those low blows. He's been landing those earlier. No counter is unfortunate. And there we go. Goes for a Shadow Lariat, pinning Cardo's back against the wall. Tries to break that balcony. There it is. And he, he goes downstairs here, Martin. There we go. The follow-up. Let's see what he does. Should get some decent distance here. He goes for the running throw. Weave dash pushing Cardo to the wall here, folks. And JDC are very aware of the real estate and pins Cardo to the wall. He has access to rage here, ladies and gentlemen. Better be careful here, JDCR. Oh! And not enough for a rage art. He does not go for it. And he does this time. Oh, yeah, he's gonna it's gonna be wall. a wall conversion. Nice BP combo here. Three feet follow up with the sway back. One he could do it here for either player. And Cardo already expanded his range. It just takes one here, folks, and JDCR with a simple gut check. And he giggles it off oh, here, Markman, knowing that Fun. he did try to low parry or low block at least. Another opportunity. JDCR seems to be very comfortable here. This time getting the big counter hit back once. Goes to the sand stretch and two, the follow-up into the running throw once again. Now pushing towards the wall. Cardo looking to trooper roll right out of it. See, this is where JDCR, uh, his wisdom comes into play here, Markman. He knows that he does have to put more pressure for Cardo to get his back on the wall and Armor King's wall splats. Oh, wow, disrespecting that low blow out of nowhere. Cardo goes for a hop kick, gets a combo of his own, 29 seconds left on the clock, and barely in range here is Cardo. Oh, now he's in full rage, but he does not have enough life to survive pretty much any Ooh. attacks. There's the death as he finally lands it. Not clean, but that was pretty big. Do it again. 
Are we, we going to go for it? Oh, the bravery, but no, not quite. And JDCR misses the punish. Oh! That is not what I expected. He went, I think he went for the gold goalie, the jab yeah. or something. That was really weird. That was crazy. But hey, the blue stuff. Unfortunate this input hit. There it is. Oh my goodness, I was about to say that JDCR tried to go for a string throw there, trying to get that damage in. You know, whether he escapes it or not, it's a good attempt for JDCR. Pressure right now. Nice low parry. Gets nice. the conversion. He has the wall. Good recognition here. Now what? Oh, he went for it. The crowd behind Cardo here, but barely escapes these brilliant brawler kicks here, folks. Oh! Oh, this is going to be close. He's going to have the wall positioning as well. Oh, yeah. He's going to get it. The follow-up, and that's going to be it. JDCR, two rounds to one here on set point. And no need for that to scale damage there on the shoulder as well, Mark. But he had enough health to, you know, to kill him with. Nice break on the multi. Oh, tried to slap some sense into Armor King. Oh, wow. Catches JDCR with a second hit of back to one. Again, this is where being unorthodox comes into, you know, it's, it's, it's worth here. But there it is. Nice shadow. Nice dark layer, rather. Or dark upper cover from JDCR. Yeah, JDCR, one of the things that he's best at is really pulling out moves, especially when it comes to whip punish or just interrupting things. He knows me. Whoa! He knows punishment as well. And look at that. Here we go. JDCR closing it out. Very, very nice punish. And he closes out the game. JDCR, good stuff. Good effort as well. Good effort from from uh, our own Harada <laughs> in the form of Cardo. So good job, of course.